Hello everybody, welcome back and welcome to another episode of Streets in Blackpool. Today I'm on the promenade between South and Central Pier and I am about to go down Trafalgar Road. So yeah, let's go. If we look on that side, we can see the Harper Beach Hotel. Looks like it's having a big makeover or clear out for the new season next year. There's a skip outside. The new windows going in from the looks of it. There you go, Trafalgar Road. On this side, we've got a little fresh donuts cabin there and car park where another hotel used to stand. It's only a short street this, so for this video we are going to put an extra street on it. I think I'm going to go down Lonsdale after this one, but for now we're on Trafalgar Road. Look. Residency Luxury Seafront Hotel and Bar. Oh, that looks good. Nice sea views there. It's a very, very short road this. The street we're coming up to now is Bolton Street. I do have this on Streets of Blackpool and I did film this street fairly recently. Small street, it's one of those little back alley streets. It's an interesting street. We've got Jimmy's Cafe there. I bet they sell a great breakfast. And if we look down that way, that is looking north towards the tower and that looks towards the beginning of Bolton Street. But for now, let's just head on down the rest of Trafalgar Road. Like I said, it's a very short street. We've got, looks like apartments there, a few hotels, a few guest houses. We've got Beechwood there. I'm not going to name them all because when I try and do that, I almost always miss one. And then somebody could be like, oh, you didn't say my hotel. But all these little streets off the prom, there's so many little hidden gems down here and good little hotels and guest houses to book into. You just have to search. And just like that, guys, we are pretty much at the bottom of Trafalgar Road. As I said before, it's a very, very short street, so we are going to be doing another street on the end. We've come out on Lytham Road. We're towards the south end of Lytham Road. It just pretty much starts there at the junction where the primary and when Tilsley Road is. But we're going to go this way. Looking down that way, that is Nelson Road. And we've got this nice little junction here. I'm just trying to film and watch out for the traffic at the same time. We can look down Nelson Road down that way as we're about to cross over. Look, there's a new building that's being built. That looks like it's being built from scratch. All the outer shell looks to be up. I'm sure that's going to look great when it's built. Oh, look at that. Pandemonium. That looks really cool. Cool little shop. And there's a little coffee and dessert shop there. But we're not here for Nelson Road. We're going to go down Lonsdale Road now. This runs off Lytham Road and it runs straight on down to the car park just at the back side of the Bloomfield Road football ground. We've got a clear road now folks, so we can walk straight across. I did do Lonsdale Road once before, because it was actually the Crest Street. Because somebody said, oh I used to live on Lonsdale. Look, oh there's a blue plaque there. I'll zoom in on it, then if you want to read it, you can pause the video and read it. There you go, a blue heritage plaque. I'll come out if you want to read that you can put and I'm so sorry I appear to be stumbling over my words a bit today it's just been a heck of a day I've had a tire in few days so yeah there is that we're here Lonsdale Road it's a good street I think the houses and the buildings on this street 
are really interesting because it's like they're almost too big for the street but they're all three stories high you've got these big 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 bays and I think they look very very grand I'm looking for a date on some of them I can't see a date I mean there was probably a date on that plaque but I can't see any on any tops of any buildings but to me the buildings down here they look like city buildings something like that like you'd see in a bigger city on a much bigger street kind of reminds me of that street in Preston what's it called Plungington Road the road you walk down if you get off the train and you go into the university like a small narrow street but big big houses but do you agree with me though about the houses I think all the buildings here they look really really grand like they were really really beautiful in the heyday I mean they possibly are still beautiful on the inside you know I can't see inside every one of them but I would imagine like these ones on this side with these big square bays they look like they were like magnificent grand houses in the day so I do like these older looking buildings oh, we've still got a few little hotels down here is that there? the Sweet Dreams Hotel so if you stay somewhere like that that you've got the football ground literally two minutes away so yeah that'd be good so that is the end of Lonsdale Road so we've had two streets in one video Trafalgar Road and Lonsdale Road that runs down an alley down the back with a, and through here we've got the car park and the football ground so yeah Lonsdale Road or Trafalgar Road if you want to come and see a football match you see the deeper clothes I mean for sure there's a travel lodge straight across the road from the ground itself and there's the football hotel that is literally attached to the ground but for sure plenty of small places to stay in if your aim is to be close to the Bloomfield Road football ground it's late afternoon well I won't say early evening it's actually just late-ish afternoon and there's a really nice quiet vibe to the area around here now it's a really calming quiet that's really nice and relaxing so look at that this video guys two streets and a look at the football ground lots to see in this video welcome to Bloomfield Road Football Club the home of the Seasiders so on that note I am going to finish this video I'm going to say thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy the video I hope you leave a like and if you're not already subscribed I hope you subscribe as well and I shall see you all very soon in the next video. Goodbye.